Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to export data from multiple SQL server tables to multiple Excel sheets using SSIS. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Anand Kumar Reddy, and he asked that I need to load the data from SQL server object to multiple Excel sheets. So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server 2019 instance, in the test database, I got few tables like employee table which contains 30 records, then addresses table which contains 5 records with different columns and then I got an email table which contains 1000 records. Okay, So I want to export the data from each of these tables to one excel file into three different excel sheets. So there will be one excel file but the sheets will be three. Okay, So let's see how we can do that using SSIS or C Sharp console app. So I actually already written the code inside the C Sharp console app and I can just go through this particular code and can explain you like what we are doing here and then we can move this particular code to the SSIS package inside a script task and then we will try to execute this code from the SSIS package and let's see how it will work. Okay, So I can just explain you the code. So I will share this code with you. You can download this code from the link in the description of the video so that you can test it on your system as well. So let me briefly explain you what we are doing here. So in the main method, the code will start from here, from the main method. And the first two variables, they are related to logging. So in case the process will fail, then an error log file will be created at this particular location, D files logs. So in case if you want to create the log file at different location, then you can just provide your path here. Okay. And then we have declared three variables here which are related to the connection like the OLEDB connection, OLEDB command and SQL connection. Okay. So the OLEDB connection, this is related to Excel connection and this SQL connection, this is related to connecting to the SQL server instance. And then inside the try block, we have written the code. So in the first variable, table list, we need to provide the list of tables, those we want to export to the Excel sheets. Okay. So I have already written here, like provide source table list here. So you need to provide your source tables separated by the commas. Okay. And then what we are doing here that we have declared a table array here. Okay. And then we are assigning this particular data, the table list into the table array. Okay. And then I have declared a local variable table name so that we will run a for loop and each time we will get one of the table name into the local variable table name. And then this is the path of the Excel file that will be created. Okay. So the Excel file customer dot XLSX will be created at this particular location D files location. So right now if I show you at the D files location, we don't have any file here. Okay. But when the package will run, so a file customer dot XLSX will be created. So you need to provide your Excel file name here without the extension. So we are checking here that if the file exists, then drop the file. Okay. And then this is the connection string to connect to the SQL server instance from where the table will be read. Okay. So we are connecting to this particular SQL server instance and our database name is the test database and we are using the windows authentication here. Okay, and then I have declared the SQL command variable here and this is the connection string to connect to the Excel file. Okay, so this is the path of the dest file name. So the dest file name is this one d files customer dot xlsx. Okay, and then we are using this particular drivers here to connect to the Excel file and the Excel file will contain the header information. Now what we are doing here, we are running a for loop through the table array. Okay, so we have the three tables here you can provide n number of tables here separated by comma so for example if there will be three tables then in the excel file three sheets will be created and if you will provide the 10 tables here separated by comma then in the excel file 10 different excel sheets will be created so we are running a for loop here and the for loop will run according to the number of tables those are defined here okay now in the first line what we are doing here we are getting the first table into the table name local variable and then we have declared a, another variable create table query and that table will be created like create table table names so it will actually prepare a create table statement for the excel sheet okay and then we have defined few variables here like column list and the columns and then we are just creating a new sql connection opening the connection now in this particular line 
from a particular table we are getting all the column names okay so we are just passing the table name here and it will show you all the columns inside a particular table so for example if you want to know the list of columns in an email table then you can execute this particular query and it will show you all the columns inside the email table so you can see that inside the email table we have the six columns okay so if i execute this particular query so it will return you the six columns but using this particular query it can show you the list of columns and uh, you can loop through these columns okay so that's what we are doing here so now here we are using the data reader and we are just appending all the columns into the columns variable here and then we are appending all the columns along with the data type text to the column list okay so that's what we are doing here and then we are just removing the last character like this character and this character from these particular local variables columns and column list okay and now we are preparing the create table query here so we are just appending the column list to the create table query and then we have just created the oladb connection oladb command and then assigning the connection listing to the excel oladb connection and finally we are just executing the execute non query here so it will actually create the excel sheet inside the excel file and after that we will actually select the data from the sql server table and just preparing the insert query here so in this particular code we are actually reading the data from the sql server table one record at a time and then inserting the data into the excel file using the execute non query okay so that's what we are doing here and then finally closing the excel connection closing the sql connection and in case any error will occur then it will go inside the cache block and it will create an error log underscore current date time dot log file at this particular location log folder okay at the d files location and a file will be created and the error message will be written to that particular file error log underscore current date time dot log file okay and in case if there will be some single quotes in the data then we will handle these particular single quotes using the convert quotes method okay so that's what we are doing here now let me do one thing that let me copy this particular code from here and i can just simply paste this particular code inside the ssis package okay so i can just simply copy this one so i can right click and click on copy now this is my blank ssis package that i can use today so i can just drag and drop the script task into the ssis package now i can right click and configure the script task i can click on edit script so that the script editor window can be opened for us so the script editor window has been opened up and i can paste the code here all right so this seems good here all right so i can just simply cut this one and paste it here okay so this seems good now and i can go back and i can copy this particular method from here and then i can paste this particular method here okay so this is working fine now what i can do it seems like this is missing some name spaces so i can hover my mouse where there is a red line and i can click on show potential fixes and then i can add using system.io okay so th this error is gone and uh, now i can hover my mouse on sql data reader show potential fixes using system.data.sql client and uh, yeah show potential fixes using system.data.oledb yeah, so i think now all the errors are gone yeah so all the errors are gone now and we are good here so in case if you want to for example pass the list of the tables using an ssis variable then you can do that easily that you can define an ssis variable and you can get the list of tables using the ssis variable and similarly if you want to pass the destination excel file path using ssis variable then you can do that as well and you can pass the server name database name through variables as well i have created many videos like where i have shown you how to use the variables inside the script task and maybe i can share the link of a video like how you can pass the ssis variable value inside the script task yes yeah, so i think we are good here so what i can do i can simply save this particular code so i can click on file exit and then i can click on okay and it will save the code for us so the code has been saved and right now we don't have the any file at the d files location so let me do one thing let me execute the ssis package and let's see how it works all right so the ssis package has run successfully 
and I can go back to the D files location and I can see a file here customer.xlsx okay so what it should contain it should contain three excel sheets employee excel sheet addresses excel sheet and the email excel sheet okay so I can right click and I can open this particular excel file so you can see that I got three excel sheets employee excel sheet and then addresses excel sheet and the email excel sheet okay for the employee excel sheet let me see how many records it should contain so in the employee excel sheet we should have 30 records okay so you can see that clearly it contains the 30 records because the first record is the header information and then it contains the 30 records okay and if I check the data for the addresses sheet so it should contain 5 records okay so I can go to the addresses and you can clearly see that it contains 5 records and now let me check the email table so for the email it contains 1000 records okay so if I go to the email excel sheet and if I go to the end of the excel sheet so it contains the 1000 records so it has exported the data perfectly using this particular method yeah so I think that's what you wanted from this particular SSIS package and I will share this code with you so that you can use it in your SSIS package and uh, you can export the data to multiple excel sheets yeah, so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much